Whether you're hiding from lions on the Serengeti or dodging bullets on a battlefield, avoiding being seen from unwanted eyes is pretty high up on the list of things you want. In nature, you can achieve camouflage through two different strategies that have evolved. And the, and the, the first of which is background matching. In background matching, you resemble the colors and textures of your environment in order to blend in. But surprisingly, background matching isn't the golden bullet solution to camouflage. Edge, prop edge properties and details lead to your outline sticking out and being, being highly recognizable. And these are cues that predators cue into. The second camouflage strategy is, is thought to be disruptive coloration. This acts to obscure your edge through using contrasting markings. We see here that the high contrasting edge markings uh, are present on a moth, and these are thought to act through distorting the uniformity of your boundary and therefore delaying the process of object recognition. Here at Carlton, we set out to test for the first time experimentally if disruptive coloration could be distinguished from background matching. Using humans hunting on computer screens, we looked at the survivorship of targets with varying numbers of edge patches. Simultaneously, we used eye tracking technology to measure recognizability, with targets that were looked at for longer being assumed to be targets that were harder to be recognized. We found that targets with more edge intersecting patches survive for longer. This couldn't be explained by background matching alone, because this was even the case for markings that were dissimilar from the background. Crucially, we found using our eye tracking data that these tar targets had enhanced camouflage due to them being harder to be recognized. So it would seem that disruptive coloration is distinct from background matching. Just as a, a, a reference point, point to how important dis, the idea of disruptive coloration is, the US military alone has spent $5 billion in the last 10 years trying to develop disruptive camouflage, not knowing how to measure disruption. <laughs> so we hope that this research will enable us to better understand and design camouflage, and least as not forget, maybe appreciate the beauty of nature that we sometimes don't always see.